All right, so if you click this video, obviously you wanna learn about vocal presets, how to use them, how to make them maybe, but most importantly, how to actually apply them. And in this video, I'm gonna go over like pretty much every step that I use in order to make my recording process go as smoothly as possible. So the first thing we gotta do, obviously, is pull up FL Studio, and I'm just gonna go over my first practice that usually helps me out the most. And I really think that it would help you guys, especially beginners, help understand where everything's getting routed, how your effects are getting routed, where your reverb buses are, your delay buses, just everything that you have to do to go through that mixing period when you're actually making a song and of course this is gonna sound like an ad but I took a lot of time into actually creating this file right here which is my default mixing template I'll have it linked below but I'm gonna pull it up you can grab that down on my website or I'm gonna show you guys realistically how to make this yourself if you don't feel like buying it but it does support the channel but basically this is what it looks like so as you can see in the playlist channel here you got your beat beat filtered hook verse two ad lib tracks a double track and then you got your left and right and basically what this is doing right here is if you see any of the tracks in your playlist and it has this little A next to it. Basically, that means it's routed over to your mixer track. So if you see up in the top left, it says this beat track is routed over to mixer track number 20. And if we click the mixer and open it, you can see it's right here. You got your beat routed to mixer track 20 and I have it docked over to the left. Then you got all your other tracks right here. You got your two reverbs and a bunch of different effects you could go. You got a few different delays, parallel compression and a little high pitch thing. But basically, if you're not really understanding how this works, so if you have a playlist in FL Studio and for example, say you go and drop like a beat in or any kind of wave or MP3 file, say you drop it down at mixer track number 10 and you start recording and you're like, all right, you know what? It's time to mix. Well, you'd have to usually double click this and it's not routed to any track. You'd have to route it to wherever you want it. But the cool part about this template is it makes it super easy to understand where it's going and it just makes it so quick. So you got your beat and you want it routed to your beat mixer track. So we'll just drag it here, boom, automatically to mixer track number 20. And then for example, we'll turn this on and we'll just record something random. Yo. And as you can see, since we recorded on the hook channel, it's automatically routed to mix track number one, which is our hook. But say, for example, you accidentally record on the hook channel and you want to bring it to your verse. Just drag it down. Now you're routed to mix track number two. And basically, that's that's just how the template works. It makes it super easy for you to understand where your vocals are going. It just makes the mixing process so easy. Because say, for example, you want to actually change your verse. Click right here, go to your verse. Now you could adjust the reverb, put a shit ton of reverb on there or something like that, make more delay. You just edit everything very easily. But... Let me show you guys how to actually make this yourself. And also when you actually get this mixing template, I included a blank version and then either the waves version or the stock version comes with plugins automatically on it. But say you're using a vocal preset, all you gotta do is go to your hook channel, number one, go to whatever vocal preset you're using. FL Studio right here, say we wanna use the Yeet preset, we got our main vocal right here, and just, just drag, drag it on. It on. And now you got yourself a Yeet vocal set up in the template. So now let me just pull up a blank FL Studio template and I'll show you guys how to actually kind of create something like this on your own. All right, so if you got FL Studio, you got to upgrade to FL Studio 21. It just came out. I'm telling you, it's my favorite FL Studio update yet. It makes mixing vocals just so much easier in my opinion. If you want to watch this video, I kind of go over all the new features that they included for vocal mixing in FL Studio 21. So you watch that, but let's actually get into this. So for example, say you bought the Yeet preset from my website and you want to apply it. This is what I would go about doing. So step one that I would always do is just make sure that our playlist is linked over to our mixture track. And the easiest way to do that now is just right click this little plus button. And as soon as you do that, it's linked over to insert one. And now you have all your controls set in your playlist channel for recording, setting your input and everything else. And then we'd go to mixer track one, grab the preset, whichever one you have. I'm going to use the Yeet preset because that's what we're going to do today. And just drag it on right here. Now you got your main vocal set up, but obviously we're going to put a beat above that. So what I would do is right click this track, click move up. Then we're going to do the same thing we just did. Right click this little plus button. And now we got a beat track. So what I would do is right click this and go dock to left. Then we're going to click F2 on our keyboard, name this beat. And I would always just make my beat channel red for some reason. But there we go. Now we got a beat channel and a vocal channel. Now, if you're using a stock preset, most of the time it'll come with the reverb and delay already added to the actual mixer track. But in this case, we're using the waves version, which actually comes with a bus channel. So the way you use this is you just go to an open mixer track and add your reverb bus here and then let's add our delay bus as well and then obviously we want to apply the reverb bus and the delay bus to our main vocal so click your main vocal and then you click this button right here for the reverb and this button right here for the delay and this controls the amount of reverb and delay on your vocal. So we're going to turn it all the way down because we're going to do that mixing part of the process a little bit later. But now we got a reverb and delay set up on our main vocal. So the next thing I would do is just grab a beat. So let's go to YouTube and just type in Yeet type beat. All right, so we got the beat. We're going to drag it in. And the first thing you got to do is click S on your keyboard, hold Alt, and just drag the little silence out. Then he said the BPM was 135, and I think he said F minor. So we're just going to, first thing I'm going to do is actually pull down the volume. And then now we just got to see if we can find a melody. So I'm going to enable the preset, and you're going to see like, the portion of actually getting this vocal to sit on the beat. So I'm just gonna adjust the reverb and delay, maybe a few other things. 
which is what you should always do when using presets. Don't expect it to just work right away because each beat is different and each vocal, each mic is different. There's just so many different, there's just so many different things going into how to make a vocal sound perfect. All right, so we got the vocal enabled and obviously there's no reverb. So let's turn that up. We'll just adjust this knob right here. Yeah. Woo. I've been outside way too long. Walk in there a bit with them motherfucking fire. Yeah, and I stretch y'all down. Yeah, I'm in it, tongue all right. Fucking that bitch on my pipe. Pop me the perky, then I say good night. I just been telling them why I say tongue. Yeah, I do it all of my tweets. Put it, she's like on my dick. Yeah, taking this shit like this. All right, so I just recorded that, but I forgot to send the actual audio to OBS. So you just heard like the raw vocals, and now I'm going to show you guys what I actually recorded down. And the next part we're going to do is just ad libs. I've been outside. Way too long. Walking in bit with no motherfucking fire. Yeah, and I stretch your dome. Yeah, I'm in it tongue all right. Yeah, tell you stop calling my phone. One perk, yeah, that's right in my zone. I got these diamonds, yeah, all on my own. I just been telling them why I say tone. Yeah, yeah, I just with all of my twins. Walking in bit with a stick. I'm fucking your bitch what it is. So now we're gonna do the ad libs and. Usually, if you have the preset, you could just you just drag and drop it into a new mixer track. But the new FL Studio, you got this clone button right here. So we're gonna right click vocals and click clone. And we just want to do not patterns, not audio clips, no automations, effects, and no group tracks. Boom! Now we got vocals too. So we're gonna turn this off. Make sure you set that to external input only. But then we're gonna click Alt on our keyboard and just move this mix track over here. Click F2, name it to Ad Libs. Let's change this color. Let's make it green so we have some kind of distinction. And then we're going to route it to the reverb and delay. And then obviously we want some different effects on the ad lib. So we're going to make it quieter. We're going to bring this fruity flingus up a bit. Um, and then we're going to delete this fab filter because we don't really need it on the ad lib track. And we're going to add fruity stereo shaper and just bring this delay up. Yeah. <laughs> All right. What else we're going to do actually is take this track right here. And I'm gonna add auto tune to it. If you don't have auto tune, you just have to find something that you could pitch your vocal up with. I have tons of videos showing you how to do this. But we're gonna click this transpose knob, bring it up 12 semitones, and then we're just gonna route it here. And now we have like this kind of effect. Yeah, huh? All right, let's do some I've been outside way too long. Walking in bit with no motherfucking fire. Yeah, and I straight up in it, tongue all right. Yeah, touch that color my phone. One perk, yeah, that's right in my zone. I got these diamonds, yeah, all on my own. I just been telling them why I say tone. Say tone. Yeah, yeah. I just with all of my twins. Walking in bit with a stick. I'm fucking your bitch what it is. All right, so I like that so far, but there's about one more track I want to do. So I'm going to clone this. We're going to do the same thing, just effects, no group tracks. And now we're just going to, yeah, Ed Libs 2 is fine, I guess. Uh, we're just going to bring this over here again. And we're going to make this a bit quieter. Playing this like all the way up. I'm going to turn this down. Actually, you know what? We're going to make this really wide. And we want a bunch of reverb, a bunch of delay. And then we're just going to record like some doubles. So I'll show you how this sounds. All right, so that's about it. I mean, I showed you guys how to use the preset. Uh, if you guys want me to finish the song, let me know in the comments and leave a like. Let's see if we could get this video to uh, 300 likes. But yeah, so all I'm going to do now is just actually play the song for you guys. So uh, I'm just going to apply the final step master. I'll have that link down below if you want that. I also have the Yeet preset that we used in the video. We'll have that link down below as well. But uh, here's a little song we made. I've been outside way too long. Walking it bit with no motherfucking fire. Yeah, and I stretch your dome. Yeah, I'm in it tongue all right. Yeah, touch that color my phone. One perk, yeah, that's right in my zone. I got these diamonds, yeah, all on my own. I just been telling them why I say tone. Yeah, yeah, I just with all of my twins.